My new Activate series is called Leviathan. And um, I sort of wanted to take a break from the memoir type, you know, historical heavy kind of thing the parade was. You know, it's a true story. It's about my grandfather. There's this huge sense of like responsibility to me about that. So I wanted to take a little break before jumping back into it. And I've been really inspired by some mid 60s Lee Kirby collaborations. Uh, like everyone else and uh, I really wanted to do something like that that was just like, you know, cool, energetic, you know, creative superhero type stuff. So Leviathan is sort of a distillation of, you know, my homage to the, you know, the Lee Kirby stuff that I love and um, trying to, you know, add some depth and, and just some real involvement, make people care about, you know, basically a superhero character. And I, I just want to create that so that I have this thing I can come back to, you know, and do these unending, never-ending stories. The story uh, takes place in two different timelines. It takes place um, in the in the prehistory of our world, like before it was our world, when everything was underwater and all the characters are water-breathing people, and it's basically like uh, where the legends of Atlantis come from. And then uh, characters are sort of, there's this kind of an apocalyptic event and characters are separated uh, uh, by that. And some end up in our time in uh, what I'm calling like um, an, an imaginary New York City where all my favorite things about New York, my other love, New York City, all my favorite things from different eras of New York exist at the same time uh, in, in sort of a cohesive way. And these characters are here now, trying to piece together what's happened to them and what's happened to the, to the other characters that, that they love. And, um, and that's sort of the, the crux of the story is, I just wanted to set a really human love story into this, you know, apocalyptic sort of Kirby superhero event. The main character is uh, Lear, and he is uh, the last king of Atlantis, and uh, his uh, antagonist is Ulton, it's his brother, and they're sort of like opposites of each other uh, in every sense, and um, there's sort of a love triangle uh, with the queen, uh, and both brothers are sort of fighting over the queen, so it's a really classic sort of Shakespearean, very simple story at its heart, it's a love triangle, uh, only, you know, there's different times and uh, superpowers involved. Activate itself, the site is updated daily. So there's about 20 artists and we each have a different day. So there's maybe four new comics a day. Uh, we, we, and we each hit that day every week. So Leviathan will be a couple, uh, I call them screens uh, instead of pages because they're designed to fit better on, a, on your computer monitor. Um, more like an old Sundays strip. Uh, so I do maybe a, a one or two pages a week, depending on what I think is a, a nice chunk. So if, if I can do it with one screen, then uh, that's it for that week. And if I, I feel it needs maybe two or three, then maybe it'll be two or three. But it's, it's every Wednesday on Activate, um, and it's, it's a couple screens every Wednesday.